Uh, when I think about what it is I would like to share with you, I not only think about justice for the poor and the plight of those living at the garbage dump in Kora, Ethiopia, but I think about God's faithfulness and the incredible privilege that it truly is beyond understanding that we in our humanness are given a glimpse into God's own heart. It really is so intimate that he allows us to see and feel just an iota of the grief, of his grief, for those whom he loves. And then, unbelievably, if we ask him about that which he's revealing to our hearts, and we say yes, that he chooses to use us and extends to us the greatest privilege of knowing and loving those whom he so deeply loves. And I remember my daughter at one point turning to me and saying, Mom, our plans, they're falling apart, but God's are falling into place. And little did I know how right she was, because it was then that God led us to this destitute community of Korah that I'd never heard of. And what had began as a leper colony at a garbage dump over 75 years ago had now grown into a community of about 130,000 people, desperate, outcast, and forgotten, living in extreme conditions. And the purpose of the second trip was to make sense of the first, to come alongside a few Ethiopian leaders, young men who grew up at the garbage dump and had a passion for their community and for God. The purpose of our trip was to listen to their hearts, to find out what they felt their community needed, and to explore with them how we can empower them to serve their people. And this is what Sammy had to say. What is poverty? Poverty is a ruler. That is how I define it. Because it makes you stay in darkness and to be hopeless. And it puts a yoke on you that you have no confidence. Poverty makes you have low self-esteem. It will make you scared all of the time. Worried about tomorrow. Worried about where food will come from. How will you pay your rent? How will you provide for your children's future? Poverty will make your mind think that this is all there is to life. That you are stuck and will always be in this condition. And I'm writing as if God is speaking to me. This is how I work. I want to speak into the hearts of each person there because when I look at each one of them, they are on center stage. Everyone else is in the wings. Just as when I look at you, you are on center stage. And when I look at each Ethiopian child, man and woman, they are on center stage. When I look at each of you, I love you. I always have, since before time began. This is how I work, and how interconnected missions is. When speaking to each heart, my spirit is in each of you, bringing you all together for my intended purposes. <laughs>